A half million Minnesota hunters are going to head into the woods this weekend for the annual firearms deer hunting opener. But already the Department of Natural Resources is predicting one of the poorest success rates in decades. That's because the deer population is down and managing the herd means cutting back on the harvest. But as Bill Hudson explains, the annual pilgrimage is as much about family tradition as it is filing a tag. There's no shortage of blaze orange and banter inside Capra's sporting goods. Just days from the deer opener, anticipations in the air. But unlike the glory years of record harvests and bonus deer tags, fewer hunters will bag success this year. That's because the DNR predicts the harvest will fall from last year's 170,000 deer to as few as 120,000, largely due to harsh winters, wolf predation, and past hunter success. It really depends. If we get some mild winters and, and our conservative management, we expect we'll have uh, populations rebounding fairly quickly. So the DNR is being conservative this year by sharply reducing antlerless permits. But Jerry Rigi will still be in the woods. It's like opening fishing. You know, it's just we get to do it in the fall. You know, you get together, like I say, with your family and your friends, and it's just part of being a Minnesotan, I think. With half a million hunters joining him, the DNR also has a word of caution. Know the laws, particularly when it comes to baiting. Um, salt licks are okay, and the big chunks of uh, mineral that looks like a piece of granite, those are fine, but anything that's sweetened with uh, food products is illegal. But most of all, just hunt safe. And if you get a deer, it's a bonus, right? Conservation officers told Bill the biggest threat to hunter safety isn't the firearms, but actually falling out of tree stands. So it's a good idea to check them out carefully before climbing in.